Hi everyone, welcome back to this new class. Have you ever needed any cool accessory for a special occasion or a party? Have you ever thought that you can design and 3D print your own unique accessories? In this case, I'll show you how to create a bow tie that you can 3D print in various colors to be less formal or in traditional black for an elegant night. You can use it if you are a boy or even if you are a girl and want to have an androgynous look. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Creation of the first half. To create this project, switch to the SCUD section of the program and create a box on the front plane using the box tool. Create a box of 60 mm by 65 and make sure to draw it on the left part of the workspace. Use as guideline the vertical green line and keep the box on the left side of this axis and with the right side of the box aligned with it. Select now the Edit Form tool in the Modify section and use the setting box to select a selection filter Edges. Holding down Shift, select the two top edges on the left corner. And dragging the arrow, squeeze the shape to create the typical profile of the bow tie. Repeat the same operation also with the bottom edges and check from different point of view if everything is ok and the shape is organic. Use again the edit form and select now the middle edges on the right part to create a soft pleat in the middle of the shape. Then repeat the same operations also on the other side. Select once more the edit form and setting this time face as selection filter, select all the six faces on the front part of the shape and squeeze that part of the model to make the center thinner than the other side. Repeat the same operation also on the other side. As you can notice now, the right part where the knot is supposed to be is thinner than the left part. Step 2. Creation of the second half. Check from different point of view if everything is ok and when you are happy with the result you can create the second half of your bow tie. Select the mirror duplicate tool in the symmetry section of the top menu and select as T-spline body our shape and as mirror plane the left plane. Step 3. Creation of the central knot. To make the central part, create again a box on the front plane. Center in the origin and make the box 20 mm by 30 and use the Move tool in the Modify section of the top menu to place the box aligned with the other parts. Use the Edit Form tool again and select all the 12 faces of the front part of the knot holding down Shift and dragging them towards to make the shape thicker. Use the left menu to turn off the bodies to be able to select all the faces correctly. Then repeat the same operation also on the other part. Turn on all the bodies then to check the final result. If you are satisfied with the design, you can select Finish Form and go back to the Model section of the program. Select now the Combine tool in the Modify section of the top menu to merge the bodies in one single body. Make sure to set the operation Join. Step 4. Creation of the slot for the ribbon. Now we need to create a space to insert a ribbon and wear the bow tie. Let's start creating a sketch on the top plane using the circle tool. We want to create a curved hole that goes into the bow tie. Set the diameter of the circle at 25 mm and make sure to align the center of the circle with the center of the bow tie. Draw now an horizontal line and using the trim tool cut away the bottom part of the circle and the line. Now you can close the sketch. 
we need now to create another plane passing by the vertex of the sketch we just did. Use the Offset Plane tool in the Construction section of the top menu to create an offset plane of the front plane, selecting it from the left menu. Make sure to create the second plane aligned with the vertex of the sketch. Then, on the new plane, draw a rectangle with center in one of the vertex and dimensions 2 mm by 12. Select now the Sweep tool in the Create section of the top menu and choose from the setting box Single Path as Type, the Rectangle as Profile, the Half Circle as Path and the Operation Cut. Now your bow tile can be worn. Step 5. Save and export the STL file. Save your design now in Aurores Fusion 360 Cloud, clicking on the saving icon. I'm naming by design Bowtie. Once saved, the new name will appear also at the top of the left menu. Right-click on the new name to open the secondary menu and select Save as STL to export the file for 3D printing. Great job, guys! Now you have your special accessory for your events. Check out kirakira.com to get inspired by other cool classes and don't forget to share your creations with our creative community.